Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Outlook. In this module, I want to look at how to use the dictate feature in Outlook and also how to use the auto text feature in Outlook. So first of all, dictate. So when you get a message on the screen, you've got the dictate button on the right there. If you click that on, it will now basically type on the screen what you say. As you can see there, now it works like this. New line. My name is Steve Saxton, full stop. New line. My job is an IT trainer, full stop. New line. I like to teach IT, comma, but sometimes I find it difficult, full stop. New line, new line, i just stop that. So you can see that is definitely faster than I can type. Now, I've done a video about using Dictate in Word, but quite a lot of people ask me about Outlook. It's the same, really. You've got different languages there that you can set. So that's a really, really massive improvement of people who find it difficult to type fast. I'm just going to delete all this stuff off. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about was using the, the auto text feature in Outlook, which I used to use on my other computer, but I haven't actually done it on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my signature and then I'm going to go to insert quick parts and then you've got auto text there, save selection. So I'm going to call it Sax as a nickname of mine. I've seen auto text. You've got different options to put uh, things in different categories and that'll do okay. So in theory, if I type sax and do f3 the function f3 the function key f3 it will come up with my signature as you can see there now if you've got a situation where you need more than one signature this is a great feature if i just go and do myself a second signature so a new signature i'll call it steve and in this one i'll just say regards Steve. That's all I'm going to do. So I'll save that one and then OK. Now if I get myself a, a new message, so just did control N there and this is my default setting for signatures. If I just delete this off. Now I haven't got the auto text for Steve, but you can see it there. Steve. If I just delete that well, I won't delete it, I'll highlight it actually. So I'll do the same thing for that one. Insert, quick parts, the auto text option, and then save to the gallery. And I'll just call this Steve. Okay. Oh, hang on. I must already have one called Steve. Um, I'll call it. In fact, what you should do, if you just call it a three-letter word, it's... Um, you need to activate it with the F3 key. However, if you do a four or five letter word, it'll come up with a little tip. So I'll call it um, my sig, five letters. Okay, delete that, type my sig. See, it comes up with a little tip. You can press it there. If I do sax, I need to do the F3 key and that'll bring that in there. So rather than going, um, to the signature block every time to select from the list you can just create multiple options in this list and bring it in now i did see a company once where this was absolutely full of text blocks basically people had instead of using the signature feature um they had added paragraphs of text in there so they could drop different paragraphs into a email now that's not what should go in signature 
that's that's this is exactly what it says on the tin a signature what they should have used and what i did actually show them was just this highlight the paragraph and have it there so you know you could if i just put um, dictate on for a second i'll just do a little paragraph thank you for contacting it's easy training i will get back to you as soon as possible full stop stop that so now i want that as a an auto text entry for me in the email so i'll do exactly the same insert quick parts auto text save selection to the gallery i'll call this ending okay and just get myself a new mail message so control n new so i now i've got my signature there but let's just say there's no signature at all the reason that's coming up is because i have that set as default if i just go back in there new messages sacks you can change that default to whichever one you want but that's what i want or you could have it blank if you've got these um options like steve um or sax f3 you know you can just drop it in as and when you want but what i want to do is just go hi and then just do my auto text entry so what did i call it ending there's the tip and then down it comes so and then you do your signature f3 F and F and F3 that some laptops have got the uh, function keys on the quick links I need to change mine but there's the signature so it's very quick and easy to do create multiple signatures give them an auto text entry word then you can just drop them down if you want different paragraphs rather than using loads of different templates you can just drop blocks of text in there like that so that's all i wanted to talk about on this little session hopefully you enjoyed that and thank you for your time